In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create Facebook image ads that actually convert for your Shopify dropshipping and e-commerce stores. And just to prove to you that these methods actually work, here is a Facebook ad account for one of the stores that I have been testing image ads on. And I've only been using image ads for this store. And over the past few months, you can see that we've got over 300 purchases. We have got super low CPMs, super low cost per clicks, and the cost per purchase is very profitable. Now, the benefit of using image ads is firstly, you could test lots of creatives super quickly. It only takes about an hour to get some image ads created as opposed to video ad creatives where you might need to send a product out to a UGC creator or order in the product yourself, then you need to film and edit all of the videos. That could be very time consuming. And when you're testing new creatives, that can take a while. And also they're super cost effective. Image ads are very cheap. You can design them for extremely low prices in comparison to video ads where you, need, you might need to send the product out to a creator. So that's going to cost you for the product. And also you have to pay the creator as well. And UGC creators can be kind of expensive in some scenarios. So like I say, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create image ads that actually convert so you can start testing them for your Shopify dropshipping stores. Now, the first thing you are going to want to do is actually find image ads that are working. Now, when I'm looking for image ads, I use this product research tool called Minia. Now, I will leave a link in the description to Minia. And if you use the code Elliot20, you can get 20% off of the first three months of your Minia subscription. And once you are signed into Minia, you are going to come over to the ads panel and you can choose Meta Ads Library. And from here, we can start finding image ads that are actually working. So that way, when you are testing products, you can see the types of image ads that are actually working. And then you can go and replicate those image ads and create them for your own stores. So what I like to do is I like to go and filter some of these ads from the Meta Ads Library section in Minia. So firstly, we will come to Media Types. And of course, we are going to choose Image. We will come to Call to Action. We are going to go for Buy Now and Shop Now. When it comes to e-commerce platform, I recommend to choose Shopify. I am just going to sort this by English language so we can see ads that are in English. When it comes to is active, we are going to want to choose is active. That means the ad is currently running, which means that it is most likely making sales if it's currently running. When it comes to running time, we're gonna say more than a month. So if an ad has been active for more than a month and it is currently running, it's more than likely making sales. Now, when it comes to spend, we are going to go for scaling. And this basically means that people that are spending on these ads are spending at least $300 per day on the ad. So that means that they're scaling the ads up. So that means these ads are profitable ads. Now, when it comes to countries, you can go and filter this out again if you want to. But for now, we are just going to leave it like that. And now we can start seeing image ads that are actually scaling and are profitable. Now, finally, I am just going to go and sort these by running time. So we can now see the image ads that have been running the longest. And now all we're going to do is just scroll through these ads and you can get an idea of the types of image ads that are working for particular products and for competitors. So if you're selling a particular product, you might see your product in here and that can give you some inspiration for your image ad. So let's just go and have a scroll through here and we can see if we can find any interesting image ads. So we are just going to scroll through some of these image ads. So I have just been scrolling for a few minutes and here's an example of an image ad that would capture my attention. So I can just click on this and now I am just going to click on see more. And as you can see, this is a super simple image ad for this ring. My heart would melt if they bought this. Now, if we have a look, we can see that they're spending over $1,000 per day on this ad. So that means they're definitely scaling it up. And if you have a look, they have actually been running this ad since June last year. So they've been running this for over a year. So it definitely is a profitable ad. And like I say, it's a super simple image ad. Look how simple this is. You could go and mock this up in about 10 minutes. If you just get some images from AliExpress and then all you need to do is put this into Canva, add a caption and you've got your image ad ready to test. And like I say, they're actually using this to scale. Now we can go and have a look at the competitors. So that's the great thing about Minia. You can see other stores that are running similar ads. So as you can see, there aren't too many competitors on Facebook. There are a few, but as you can see, it's not a super competitive product. And also if we click on competitor analysis, we can also go and see where the other ads are being ran. So as you can see, there are quite a few stores running this product, but mostly in the US. 
So we could go and think about running this product to the UK or to Australia or to Canada or even in Europe. As you can see, this main store here, they are actually running one of their ads to Ireland. So if we click on ads from the same advertiser, we can see all of the other ads that they are running as well. So most of their products are being run to the US, but they have been running some ads to Ireland as well. So as you can see, they're running all image ads. So all of their products that they're scaling up are mostly image ads. So that's a really good sign. That means we can go and create some super simple image ads. So here is another ad that I have found. And again, a super simple image ad. And this has been running since the beginning of this year, January 2025, and it's still running. So it says last seen April 11th, which is yesterday. So they have been running this ad for around three months. So again, that's a good indication that this ad is profitable. It's got 20K likes, 8.1K comments, 7.5K shares. So again, a super simple image ad. And if we click on ads from same advertiser, we can see that they're running quite a few different image ads. So now we know what type of image ads are working for particular products we can go and try and replicate these. And now I'm gonna show you how to actually go and create these image ads. Now, the first option you have is the free option, which is to use ChatGPT. So if we come over to ChatGPT, we can just go and scroll up. Now, what you're going to want to do is, when you are creating these image ads, you are going to want to come up with a strong marketing angle. So we can see for this particular product here, their marketing angle is 12 hour shifts for healthcare essential workers. So people like nurses, people that work in healthcare, people that work long hours, these are the perfect shoes for them and that's how they're trying to market them. So I've just come over to ChatGPT and I've just given ChatGPT some information about the product. So I've said, firstly, I'm looking to sell a pair of shoes. These are the product benefits. Now I have just come over to their store and I have just taken the product benefits from their store. You can also go and take these from AliExpress. So another great thing that you can do with Meneer is if you come to find suppliers, you can click on find on AliExpress and any product that you want to find, you can just go and click on an image and then it will go and find some suppliers for, for you from AliExpress. So then we can just click on this to go through to AliExpress. And then from the AliExpress product description, you can go and get the product benefits. So like I said, I've just put into ChatGPT, I'm looking to sell a pair of shoes. These are the product benefits. I put in the product benefits. I said my competitor is marketing them towards healthcare workers as a 10 hour shift shoe. It's actually 12 hour shift. Who could I market them towards? So I'm trying to find a new angle. So you have two options when you are going to test audiences for your image ads. You can either go and test a new angle, so they've got the 12 hour shift angle, or you can go and try a new country. So like I said, if we come over to competitor analysis for this particular product, we can see that most of the competitors are running to the US, France, and Germany. So again, we could go and try this with the same marketing angle, 12 hour shift shoes, but run it to the UK, Australia, Canada, one of the countries that's slightly less competitive, or we can run it to the same country with a different angle. So in this instance, I've just asked ChatGPT to come up with a new angle. So then they have come up with a few different angles for me. So they've got retail workers, they've got teachers, they've got delivery drivers and warehouse workers, travel professionals, construction workers, and fitness enthusiasts, and a few, a few others. Now, I actually think this was the strongest one. So you're just going to pick out which one you think is the strongest, but you could actually create image ads for all of these. So it's super easy when you're creating image ads, you could just create a new image ad for every single angle and go and test each angle. So I then have just picked out this angle here, retail workers and service industry employees. So now if we just go and scroll down, it has given me a few ad copy examples, but we actually want to create the image ads themselves. So what I've said here is I've just said, I've attached three images. Can you create an image ad using these screenshots of the product targeting the above market? So this is going to be this market here, which is the retail workers and service employers. So what you can do is you can just come over to AliExpress and you can just go and save some of the images. So I've just gone and saved this image here, this image here, and this image here. And then I have just go and up, gone and uploaded these to ChatGPT, as you can see. And I've just said, go and create some ads based on these three images. So now they have gone and created some ads. So as you can see for busy feet, whether you're on, on the sales floor or behind the counter, our shoes are built to keep your feet happy through long hours, slip resistant, cushioned and breathable, your perfect work companion. Now, I didn't think this looked that great. If you actually just go and click on the image, you can see it's kind of cut off. 
So I actually just went and prompted ChatGPT again. I said, the image is cut off. Can you make sure the image isn't cut off? Also less text, keep the text brief and use the Poppins font. Now, the reason I asked to use the Poppins font is because it would match my stores font. So now you can see it has used the Poppins font and it hasn't cut off the image, but I didn't actually like the format of this. So then I've just said, can you make the image 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels, pixels so we can create a square image. Keep it the same, just a different size. And it has gone and created another image ad for me. And this one looks really good. I'm really happy with this one. Comfortable shoes for retail and service industry employees, wide toe box, stretchable knit fabric, heel cushion sole, slip resistant outsole. So it has just gone and listed some of the benefits. So then you can just keep prompting ChatGPT to go and create more of these image ads. Sometimes they don't always come out perfectly. But obviously, if you're using the free version of ChatGPT, that's to be expected. So you can just keep prompting it until you get exactly what you want. And this is how you can come up with loads of new image ad ideas. You can just keep prompting it, keep prompting it, testing new angles, testing new styles. And that's how you can keep coming up with new image ad ideas. And then you are just going to go and test these. Like I say, that's exactly what I've done with this store here. And as you can see, the numbers don't lie. It is performing really well with these image ads and I'm only testing image ads with this particular store. So that is how you can use ChatGPT. Super easy, completely free. Once you actually have found an ad that is performing on Minia, then you can simply go and ask ChatGPT to replicate it. So as you can see, that's what I've done with this particular product here. Now, your other option is a paid option. You can use this tool called Creative OS. And Creative OS basically has loads of image ad templates that you can go and use. Now, like I say, this is a paid tool. So if we just go and click on start free trial, you can see that it starts at just $19 per month and there is a three day free trial. So I'm gonna show you an example of an image ad that I created using this tool. And I'm gonna show you how to actually use this. If you want to just take it a little bit further because sometimes ChatGPT can be a little bit limited. And these templates are actually based on templates that actually work. So these are based on ads that are scaling. So as you can see, it will give you ad templates based on image ads that are actually performing well. So what we are going to do is we are just going to click on start your free trial. You can enter in your information and click on sign up. Once you are logged into Creative OS, now you are going to want to click on the ads tab. And from here, you can discover loads of different static ad templates that you can go and use to create your own ads. And like I say, these are based on ads that are actually performing from the biggest brands. So what we can do is let's just say, for example, we wanted to go and sell this ring as well. We can see it's performing with image ads. So we can come over to Creative OS where it says discovery. We can click on this and I'm just going to go and type in ring. So now we can go and see loads of ad templates for ring products. So we can click on see all and now we can scroll through all of these ring ad templates and you can basically just go and import these into Canva and then you can start editing them. So as you can see, loads of different ring ad templates that we could potentially use. There are literally hundreds on here. So you can go and scroll through and find one that you think captures your attention. Uh, this is a really cool one here that I think looks really good. So like I say, have a scroll through. Now, again, if we come over to Mania, if I wanted to sell this shoe product, again, I can come over to Discovery. And this time I am just going to type in shoe. And then where it says add templates, we can click on see all. And now we're going to see loads of static ad templates for shoes that we could potentially use. So again, this is a really great way to come up with static ad template ideas that you can simply go and edit and create in a few minutes. So once you have found one, here's one, for example, that looks really cool. Once you have found one that you like, all you need to do is click on export to Canva. You will then be prompted to log into Canva. So it will say a template created by Creative OS support is shared with you. Start designing now. So click on use template for new design and then that static ad creative template will be exported to Canva and you can easily go and edit that template. So if we just come over to the template, you can see that I have gone and edited this now. So as you can see, comfort and relief for retail workers, I've just imported an image of the shoe and removed the background. And then I just have gone and added some benefits about the product. And we know that this is a template that is performing from a bigger brand. So then I can simply just go and download this from Canva 
and then I can start testing this as an ad in my Facebook ad account. And it's that simple to go and create image ads that actually perform. This is the exact process that I'm using. I'm finding ads that perform using Minia, and then I am using a combination of ChatGPT and Creative OS to create these static ads. And that is how I am getting results like this using image ads for my Shopify dropshipping stores. So there you have it. That is how you can start creating Facebook image ads for your Shopify dropshipping stores that actually convert. I will leave a link in the description to Minia. And if you use the code Elliot20, you can get 20% off of your first three months of your Minia subscription. Give the video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.